Welcome on everybody, it's me, MDC, the MDC here in MDC Eric's, uh, and your friendly neighborhood pharmacist. And for this week's video, we're going to talk about this condition you might have heard of recently called aphasia or aphasia. So one of the reasons you might have heard of it is because you may have heard the news about the actor that we most likely all-ish, most people would know, Bruce Willis, um, withdrawing from acting because he's developed aphasia. Now, basically, we're just gonna go into what aphasia is. It's, it's like this thing that kind of came up and I realized that not a lot of people understood fully what it was and I kind of just want to explain it. So we're gonna go through what it is, what it looks like, how it presents and what can cause it. Yeah, and what signs to look out for if you might have it or you might be at risk for it. So yeah, firstly, what is aphasia? Now, basically aphasia is, is a condition that makes it difficult to communicate. So it affects your speech or it can even affect your comprehension. So you might not understand what someone tells you, you might not um, be able to relay information in a way that people can understand, and not just talking or hearing, but also writing and reading as well. So some symptoms of aphasia can be speaking in long sentences that don't really make sense, or speaking in really short sentences that don't fully bring across your point. So like, for example, you say, all right, I want to walk the dog. That's what you want to say, but you say, walk dog, something like that. And for a, an example of speaking in longer sentences that might not make as much sense, or probably just like a long sentence and like a random word drop in there and you're like, what? You know, so like one day I was going to the supermarket to buy my dog fruitful some treats or so on i know the dog the name fruitful fruitful has nothing to do with the sentence and it's just in it end okay. up there so it's not like my dog comma fruitful no the dog the name fruitful it just the word fruitful just end up in there kind of vibes you know just as an example and looking inward to yourself to be like all right is it a symptom of it if you realize you're not really comprehending what people are saying as of late like recently i was just talking to you and just not understanding what they're saying that might be a symptom of aphasia. So why does Bruce Willis have aphasia? How did he get it? What are the causes? What does what causes aphasia? Now there are certain things that can cause aphasia. Mostly it's damage towards the center of the brain that well not the center, but like the center, the part is that damage to a part of the brain that is responsible for language and communication. So anything that can cause that type of damage to that part of the brain can cause aphasia. Examples of these are strokes. So if you had a stroke, you can suffer damage to that part of the brain. Brain infections, you have some infections of the brain that can again damage that part of the brain. Also gunshot wounds, if it is that you end up getting a gunshot through that part of the brain and you survived, then you may you know, continue throughout life with aphasia. And you also have some brain conditions as well that will lead to aphasia later on in life. For example, Alzheimer's. So if you have Alzheimer's, sometimes after a while, you might develop aphasia. Because you know, a lot of people with Alzheimer's, they don't really talk in, in a way that you might understand, or sometimes they don't understand you. And that might be the aphasia presenting. Now, when it comes down to exactly why Bruce Willis has it, I'm not sure. I never really read fully. I don't think they've disclosed exactly what's happening or what type he has because there are actually types of aphasia. There are three types from our reading. There's expressive, there's comprehensive, and there's global. So expressive aphasia now, remember we're talking about the shorter sentences that don't really fully carry, carry out, carry across. <laughs> what is it that you want to say? That's um, expressive aphasia. So as I said, you probably say you want to walk the dog and you just say walk dog, something like that. Comprehensive no, is when you have the longer sentences and then you might have a random word in there a longer sentence with just a, a bunch of random words and it's just like what you know that kind of vibe then you have global now global aphasia is when you can you can't really comprehend what someone is saying you can't understand what someone is saying at the same time you can't really bring across what you're trying to say at the same time. So global now I think is a larger extent of damage happening to that part of your brain. All right, so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you learned a little bit about aphasia. Just have a basic knowledge about what it is. And as you can see, this is the reason why he withdrew from acting because you know acting has a lot of reading, has a lot of, you have to take direction from the director and so on. So I'm not sure if it is that he can't 
comprehend as fully anymore or if you can't bring across these lines as much anymore but you can you can see how the different types would affect him as an actor but yeah anyway as i was saying thank you so much for watching this video this week share it across to different different people that you think might be interested because i know it's kind of a topic right now that people are like huh what is that so if you hear anybody say what is that just share this video with them so they can understand as well so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and for coming this week and i hope to see you next week again